in this universe the presence of life the manifested form of mysterious phenomenon lends a unique greatness to earth however in the name of progress man relentlessly plunders the mother earth of her natural resources destroying ecosystems causing undue extinction of species while leaving behind pollution death and destruction the enormous waste has become toxic to all living creatures and threatens man's very existence this rate of consumption and waste is completely unsustainable man will perish like the dinosaurs if we cannot reverse the current trend pollution is poisoning the air land and water global climate change is causing an increase in natural disasters worldwide the time has come for man to rethink his place on the planet and find harmony with the natural world through her love and compassion amma shri mata amritandamai devi has initiated amla bharatam campaign a public awareness and cleaning program that began in kerala god's own country and is now sweeping all over india nature creates no waste everything in nature is recycled man is the only species that creates toxic waste it is of paramount importance to spread this awareness so we may leave behind a world where our children can flourish to reduce pollution amrita institutions have created an integrated waste management program to handle all waste in an environmentally responsible and sustainable manner in every home every institution and every community we must begin the same practice of identifying separating and recycling what we discard in an environmentally sustainable manner only then can we survive at amrita institute of medical science and research center we have adopted a comprehensive integrated waste management system using the zero waste concept to process our waste this waste at aims and its affiliates as well as waste from another nearby hospital is collected daily and brought to our recycling and disposal unit for processing workers specially trained in the procedures collect all types of waste from the hospitals colleges schools canteens and brings it to the unit the waste is initially segregated in four types in color coded bags and containers at the point of collection for example red bags designate blood stain infectious waste like syringes yellow bags for body parts from hospital green bags for food or other organic waste and black bags for other general waste upon collection it is brought to the recycling unit for further segregation throughout the processing special care is taken to disinfect and then shred or otherwise destroy any hospital waste such as syringes before disposal all around the waste and recycling unit flies and odors are controlled by mild spray applications paper plastics glass metals and organics are separated for recycling infectious hospital waste is incinerated according to current health standards in specially designed incinerators just for this purpose organic waste such as food waste coconut shells banana stems soiled wet paper and dry leaves is taken to the composting unit since compostable organics make up approximately 60% of all waste aims has designed a site specific composting operation using two methods of composting general compost and vermi compost essentially compost is recycled organic materials 
The resulting manure replenishes soil fertility by feeding the microbes naturally found in the soil. This is what makes plants healthy, resistant to diseases and insects. Compost is a part of nature's way of regenerating biomass. At Ames, we have designed and built special equipment for sorting and mixing compostable items. To reduce particle size and speed up decomposition of large items such as coconut shells and palm crumbs, an electric shredder is used for pulverization. Thermophilic composting is the main method used. Thermophilic composting is the natural process where aerobic bacteria decomposes organic material. It aims the goal is to enhance nature's process by creating optimum conditions for the bacteria to do the work. Biomass, whether it is fresh and alive or dry and brown, contains both carbon and nitrogen. We start by mixing material rich in carbon and nitrogen like food waste, water plants, soil paper, tea dust, cow dung and wood chips. With a moisture level of about 45% and in the presence of oxygen, the aerobic bacteria quickly go to work. Mesophilic bacteria naturally present in all the materials begin the process. The pile quickly heats up to 40 degrees Celsius. At this point, these bacteria die off and the thermophilic bacteria take over heating the pile up to 55 degrees Celsius or more. This is when decomposition is at its fastest. At this temperature, oxygen becomes depleted and the pile must be turned to reoxygenate. After turning, the pile quickly reheats. By turning regularly, every portion of the pile is exposed to these high temperatures that kill any pathogens present and produce a uniform product. It is essential to create a minimum size pile of 1 cubic meter for rapid decomposition. This ensures insulation for the thermophilic bacteria to continue their work. Carbon and nitrogen materials in equal amounts by volume are mixed together. Cow dung and some old compost is used to start the process quickly as these materials are rich in bacteria. Due to the large volume of material, we build the compost piles into long withdraws, extending each day's pile with the next until the entire space is used. Garden netting is used to cover the freshly made piles for two to three days for fly control. Proper management is required to achieve consistent results. Temperatures and moisture levels are monitored as piles are turned regularly. After four to six weeks, the piles will no longer heat up and the process concludes. The final stage of the process is called curing. First, the compost is filtered and allowed to dry out before use, packaging or shipment. Vermicomposting is the second method of composting used at Ames. Since the beginning of time, earthworms have been creating rich organic topsoil by feeding on partially decomposed organic waste. In a controlled environment, Vermicomposting is fun and easy, but again, proper management is required. Because the water hyacinth clogs the backwaters at Ames, we have chosen to make use of this new essence to create rich organic compost. This invasive weed is harvested, chopped and mixed with cow dung, which is allowed to ferment for 30 days in open tanks. Once it has rotted, earthworms are added. Within 30 to 40 days, 
The worms convert the feedstock into the richest organic manure known to man, higher in all nutrients. By the overuse of chemicals, synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, man has killed the microbial life in the soil which feeds trees and plants. Nature never needed pesticides. Only when man switched to synthetic fertilizers did pests become a problem. Natural organic methods can reverse this detrimental impact to the environment. By making and using compost, man is in harmony with nature. Sustainable solutions are our only hope. If integrated waste management systems are adopted throughout the country, then one day India can truly turn waste to resource. Life will be supported, not degraded. Would join together to form a composting unit, it would provide employment opportunities as well as create a healthier environment. Support from the government agencies would be required. This type of action is what Amma is asking from all of us and through her grace and compassion, we can give the gift of life to future generations.